Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today is our topic of discussion regarding communication in EMS. So, today's our talk going to be like uh, definition of communication, communication loop, and then communication system. What are the various systems we have in our EMS? And then communication in various stages. Uh, from we are going to start from the where the emergency call start from and then until the hand of over final uh, end of over hand of over how the communication should be and then cultural awareness finally some add on points on the communication part so first thing definition of communication it's just a simple definition this is a process communication is a process by which we are sharing or uh, we are exchanging the information between the two in uh, individuals. So, it's a simple definition. Communication is just a process. We are uh, sharing our thoughts or information to the other person. That's a communication. So, as a uh, paramedic person, where and all we are communicating? First one, we are communicating with the dispatch center and then we are communicate with our crew partner and then other forces, uh, those who are involving with this with the resuscitation part example law enforcement personnel otherwise fire department personnel there and all we are communicating and then bystanders uh, uh, bystanders we are communicating and then online medical director otherwise the receiving facility hospital personnel also we are communicating so unknowingly otherwise out of our knowledge we are communicating with that we are interrupting we are communicating with lot of people so, so as a paramedic pre-hospital professional we should and then it's a must essential skill uh, we should uh, develop otherwise we should have a communication proper communication skill so this is about the uh, somewhat theory regarding that communication uh, related one so it's called communication loop what is in the communication loop so the person the person means who is the sender he is formulating his ideas and thoughts. So, the person who is the uh, message, uh, message sender, he is formulating his ideas and thought as a message and then he is sharing his information to the receiver. So, who is that? Uh, the person who is receiving the message. So, I am again I am repeating, the person who is the sender, he formulating his ideas and thoughts as a message and then he is sharing that information to the other person those uh, who is the receiver and then the receiver receiving the message and then he decode the message and then he replied to the again he replied to the sender that's called feedback so the person who is the sender he formulating his ideas and thought as a message and then he sharing that message to the receiver the receiver the way of transmission either it may be the verbal non-verbal uh, visual means you can show the some ecg readings otherwise you may take some photos on that uh, pre-hospital that injury happens say it mechanism of injury for related things so visual visual written format uh, electronic format the same ecg and then uh, cardiac monitor recordings those are the things so the uh, receiver decode the message and then he again replace to the sender that's called feedback so this is the communication loop and then these are the various communication system we have in our ems system first one base station so this is the uh, most powerful station these are the like a uh, big antennas and then tower like a thing that will fix it in some specific location like uh, in our hospital otherwise in dispatch center uh, and the time they will fix this large antenna uh, size thing they have a wide range of coverage from it have a coverage like various ranges means um, we can cover a lot of kilometer but other uh, trans receivers and all we have a short uh, kilometer of coverage but here base station have a wide coverage second thing the, the the thing we have to keep in mind is a it fixed location in somewhere else in hospital otherwise in dispatch center it have a way wide range of coverage uh, mobile uh, transceivers means that will fix it in the vehicle or uh, otherwise in our ambulance otherwise in the aircraft they have a coverage of 24 kilometers only from that um, so 
from where from the dispatch center it have a coverage between the 24 kilometers so that will fix it in the vehicle otherwise the aircraft that will operated by the power system of the vehicle so here it's a fixed location there it's a mobilizing one but uh, it will op it have a coverage of 24 kilometers from the uh, dispatch center and then third one is a portable transceivers means other is we can call as a walkie talkies so walkie talkies uh, these are the things a battery operated thing it have a coverage between the 5 to 8 kilometers so we are also uh, somewhat familiar some of the ems system we have at uh, walkie talkies it have a coverage of 5 to 8 kilometers battery operated one and then cellular technology we are more adapted with this most uh, more familiar in our ems system uh, other than the EMS system, we are more familiar with the mobile technology, cellular technology system. And then other thing is a satellite, it's a most most expensive part. But the advantage in the satellite communication is uh, we can approach in the mobilized part, otherwise unapproachable region, um, uh, rural region and all, we can uh, go with a satellite communication. But the thing is most expensive one. And then biotelemetry, uh, telemedicine, recently uh, most evolving part. Uh, some of us uh, more familiar with this also. Uh, even the person like online medical director, otherwise the other person who is uh, coordinating us, they can easily um, give advice, otherwise medical uh, related things from that remote location itself. So they we can. Uh, Evenly, they can hear the Korotakov sound of uh, BP manometer, Spigmo manometer also. So, recent days technologies, this is evolving for telemedicine. So, this is the one of the communication system uh, we have in our uh, emergency system, uh, pre-hospital system. So, communication system, the other most important term is uh, interoperability. Interoperability means in mass casualty event like a disaster situation what will happen there will be a disruption in every part of the community so that's a simple definition so we need a external support for the recovery so communication also that will affect uh, like a disaster situation communication also gets affected no exception in that so in the time how we are tackling the communication how we take over that situation and then how we are handling that uh, disaster time because disaster time there will be a disruption in cellular technology towers and then everywhere so as like we told we can in india we are using the satellite communication in past history how we tackled over means we used ham radio ham radio we are using uh, we used and then still also we are using and then satellite communication also we are using in the disaster like a situation so these are the some examples, cyclonic storm in the Andhra Pradesh and then earthquake in the Uttar Kasi and then Latur Maharashtra, uh, cyclone in Orissa and then flash blood in uh, Marvi, Gujarat. These are the time we used ham radio, ham radio communication. With that we shared our information and then we uh, they were involved. These are the pic pictorial uh, reference for that ham radio. And then uh, this is about the, now these are, those are the things about the, what are the communication system we have and then those, a lot of things, definition related things, uh, communication loop, uh, those the part of theoretical part. Now we are going to see regarding the practical point of view. So how the uh, emergency call gets originating and then various stages, uh, how we are communicate while the transport and then how finally how we have to end up our communication. So first step. So how the communication, how the emergency call originating, uh, it's starting, how the emergency call starting. So some, uh, the, some one in the community, he is recognizing there is a potential medical emergency and then he is recognized and then he is approaching to the local emergency response system. Means someone in the community, he recognizes that uh, someone have a potential emergency, medical emergency or traumatic emergency, whichever emergency. So he is he reporting here, she reporting to the local emergency response system. This is the way the emergency call gets originate. So the person called to the otherwise approach to the uh, emergency system. Here the first person in the emergency system received the call by the dispatch center. So EMS dispatch 
receive that call from the person and then these are the roles of the dispatch center so in our ems system so some person from the community he approached the emergency system so in emergency system the call first received by the dispatch center by the dispatcher so the dispatcher these are the various ro roles of the dispatcher first he obtain information from the scene means he will collect all the information regarding the patient where is the geographical location and then he will collect uh, mechanism of injury otherwise the nature of illness and the number of patient uh, those are the things the most essential clue things he will collect and then he will determine the which resources needed because sometime there will be an um, motor vehicle collision means we need some fire support otherwise we need a uh, law enforcement support uh, we need a extrication support those are the things he will determine based on that he will send the appropriate vehicle and person in our ems side if the uh, scene is uh, needed for basic life support ambulance means he will send a uh, those are the things they need advanced life support ambulance regarding things means they will send like based on that uh, scenario scene they will send the appropriate vehicle and personnel not alone the dispatching the vehicle and then um, uh, whatever things needed the uh, some other person in dispatch center they will trained in some basic uh, first aid techniques like airway maneuvers um, head tilt in lift jaw thrust maneuvers otherwise they will train in hands only cpr so through the call th through the call the person that uh, dispatch person give a instruction to the caller so this is the way we have to perform the cpr until the arrival of the ems as a paramedic we are the scene the person will do some other resuscitation uh, procedures so the dispatch person have sometimes they will coordinate the caller to perform some simple resuscitation procedures so he also a, a trained persons and then third fifth important thing he will maintain the all electronic records regarding that a call regarding that so written and the electronic record he is maintaining some other person who trained in that basic emergency tech uh, resuscitation things he will uh, coordinate them to do in the scene itself until the arrival of the ems system and then they will uh, obtain this information from the scene determine which resources needed finally they will send the appropriate vehicle and personnel so from from the dispatch center only as a paramedic we will get a call so how the talk will be how the communication will be means it's a call from the dispatch center to the paramedic so dispatch some information is a communication between the dispatch and then ems person uh, between us so this, this is the message encoding the message medic to regional dispatch priority one motor vehicle collision second street at main street possibly two patient time 2104 this is a railway time format whichever format we are convenient we can use so he encoded the message and then he sent to the medic to paramedic so he is replying replying to the dispatcher as a feedback so he is telling regional dispatch medical two copies priority one motor vehicle collision second street at main street and then two patient so this is the way first we are getting call from the dispatch center so this is the way our call should be communication should be so the person who approaches the the person approach to the emergency medical system so the, the dispatcher received the message and then he communicated with this so we got all information now how we are approaching how we are um, reaching the location that's the most important so it's called a response to the scene communication so we are responding to the call so first re before responding we have to reach out the scene so how we are reach outing either we can go with the cruise knowledge about the area paper map we are using gps based electronic navigation system uh, that's empowered in our vehicle that we are using otherwise sometime with the help of dispatcher it's they will share the uh, how to reach out the location they will share some route map so those are the things we can use and then so uh, it's also most important communication part uh, how um, it's a communication about the end route while route to the scene and then once arrival of the scene 
so this is the communication how it should be means medic to it's a he is encoding the message regional dispatch medic to en route to the second street at main street so the dispatcher replies to us medic to en route at 2105 so once you arrive the scene this is the most most important so medic to on scene confirm two vehicles moderate damage both occupants are still in vehicles notify any other responders that access to the second street is blocked and then they, they need to approach from the north side of the street so in before uh, so we told we got information from the dispatch the, the dispatcher got information from the public he uh, community so he didn't uh, see in the uh, scene means he didn't uh, uh, know about the scene he got information from the someone so he shared whatever he got he shared just an uh, information by information he exactly know uh, don't know about that what's the mechanism of injury by visual he don't know anything but by hearing he got some message and then he communicated with this so first person we are seeing the uh, crash scene otherwise we are seeing that ill spot so we have we are the respect uh, responsible person to communicate with the dispatch center if anything otherwise any other forces any other help we want like that we have to communicate here you can see the uh, the mention like uh, both documents are still in the vehicle means we need some extrication forces like a fire department support also we needed and then we have to communicate which is the uh, easiest approachable way because um, here we mention like a approach uh, to second street is blocked so we can approach with the north side so while the time of uh, this is the way we can reduce the uh, time wasting of the time so each seconds how uh, counts in our emergency so we can uh, communicate those are the things most essential things here we are communicating so the dispatch will reply for us medic to arrive two vehicles occupants inside approach to the second street is street is blocked and then on time scene time is a 2110 so we arrived the scene and then we extricate the person and then this uh, this is the time of transport so patient transport communication here we are communicating with two major persons first thing to our dispatch center second thing to our the medical control or the receiving facility so first thing it's to the dispatch center so medic to leaving second main en route to the municipal hospital two patients on board non emergency traffic so dispatch center replies medic to received i show you en route to the municipal hospital non emergency traffic with the two pa uh, patients time 2134 so once you arrive the facility the you can uh, communicate with the medic to arrive at municipal hospital out for, out of service so this is the time we are giving the hand up over and then we are uh, restocking our uh, used things and then we are uh, doing that all sterilization techniques so out of service so the dispatcher will reply us medic to received i have you at uh, municipal hospital and unavailable for the service 2145 so here until here our uh, communication with the dispatch center gets rid of gets gets over so this is the communication to the medical control personnel otherwise online medical director otherwise receiving facility so this is a most most important communication in the pre-hospital communication part so these are the information that should be in our communication what are the things destination facility and then estimated time of arrival that should include first then we have to mention like a patient age and sex chief complaint mental status so mental status uh, some of us more familiar with an avpu scale avpu means a means awake and alert b means voice response p means pain stimuli u means unresponsive so like that we can coordinate and then we can write about the avpu scale based on that we can communicate person's vital signs and then here the sample history signs and symptoms present illness medications allergies and then post medical history sample history finally what are the physical findings from the head to toe ecg findings what are the treatment given by you and then what's the response to the treatment also most important we have to mention so this is the way we'll see one example by that we can um, understand which is the way we have to communicate so this is an example uh, 
uh, in crew you have one like uh, 48 years male uh, with the complaints of decreased responsiveness and then a profuse sweating like a thing so like that we can take so profuse sweating and then decreased responsiveness so you attach the monitor cardiac monitor source uh, heart rate of 100 beats per minute uh, sinus rhythm and then respiratory rate of 22 breaths per minute bp of 120 64 mm hg like i think we can uh, remember and then spo2 of um, 96 percentage on room air so your glucometer uh, uh, reading source like a 46 mg per deciliter 46 mg per deciliter so you want to go to the your destination facility is a, uh, like XYZ hospital that is a 10 kilometer far away from your receiving facility otherwise from your um, scene otherwise from your uh, region it's about XYZ hospital is about 10 kilometer far away so how the communication uh, we are going to formulate the communication first you have to mention the destination facility XYZ hospital estimated time of arrival uh, 15 like a 15 26 like a thing so 15 20 or up, uh, round off we can give us a 15 20 so the person uh, there is a uh, 48 years male 48 years respective male with the chief complaint of decreased responsiveness and profuse sweating a patient mental status wise he is um, responding to the verbal response and the vital signs is cardiac monitor source uh, heart rate of 100 beats per minute respiratory rate of 22 breaths per minute um, and then uh, respirate uh, sorry uh, spo2 of 96 percentage on room air bp of 110 64 millimeters mercury so uh, in sample history you have to mention like a person first we'll start with the past medical history person have a type 2 diabetic type 2 diabetic mellitus type 2 dm on treatment of uh, human atropid 10 units TAD. So, afternoon he took in human atropid, but he skipped his uh, meals. By that way, after some times he developed drowsiness and then he uh, decreased responsiveness, developed profuse uh, sweating also developed. So, they reached out the emergency medical system and then you have uh, already we mentioned medication type 2 diabetic mellitus he is taking human atropic TAD he don't have any known allergic history a drug and food allergy and then in physical findings no other uh, signs of trauma related things otherwise no pallor ectra cyanosis those are things ECG rhythm source normal sinus rhythm so as per protocol we given at 100 ml of 25 percentage dextrose uh, over the time, after the 15 minutes of reassessment, the person gets improved GRBS of uh, 60 mg per deciliter. Like that, we have to first, we have to um, order in everything. We have to call, we have to write something in our paper. What are the things happen? So based on that, we can arrange and then we can communicate with the person. So every part is most important. We should not omit uh, uh, even a single point. So this is a. Uh, hand of report so we, finally we reached out the facility how we have to give the hand of report so in various numerous studies source in pre-hospital communication this is where the point more most and more uh, communication error occurring so they are mentioning like uh, um, in pre-hospital specifically more specifically in pre-hospital communication hand of report is the region where the most communication error occurring how because means um, in scene otherwise the wild transport we may encounter some vital signs changes otherwise we may uh, uh, put a changes in the ventilator so while the time of handoff over we may uh, forget those are the minor things so uh, these these are the way uh, because we may forget the heart rate changes otherwise while the time of over uh, with a lot of stuff we may forget we may forget that's why i'm mentioning we may forget but this is the point uh, where the majority of the error occurring so how we can tackle over this situation means we should have some concise manner we should have some um, proper uh, way of uh, communication we should have uh, some proper format of communication means we will easily tackle over the situation 
So for that we here we have a S bar notes. Means situation, background, assessment and recommendation. What is mean by means? Situation means uh, think our hypoglycemia cases. Example last slide we discussed. Now uh, situation. So situation in situation we have to mention like uh, what's the present illness. Uh, there he came with uh, complaints of uh, profuse sweating and then decreased responsiveness. There you have to mention here. Background what we have to mention means what's the past history he, he or she have and then what it got up to this point. There we mention like uh, he took human atrapy 10 units but he skipped the medication. That's the thing we have to mention here. In assessment part, uh, what are the vital senses and then uh, head to toe examination, those are the things you have to mention in assessment. And then we have to mention in the recommendation part, what are the things you have to mention means, uh, these are the things which action are you asking for, otherwise what do you want to happen next. So this is the point S bar notes we can keep and then we can write all other things without um, forgetting. So this is the easiest manner in our EMS system we have. And then finally, it's the most important communication with the patient, it's an unavoidable one. So this is also most important part. Uh, here we have to start up with, always start up with the start with the simple greetings and then get on the same level of the patient. Uh, this is the way. And then address them as a sir, ma'am, mister, missus, miss, whichever appropriate way. And then body language also most important because you may um, communicate with them with the courageously, otherwise you can communicate with a more polite manner. But if you are mind, if you are not minding with the body language means that will um, interpret it otherwise that will precipitate in wrong manner. So your body language also most important while communicating with person, with patient or wherever else. So these are the strategies uh, we have, uh, we have in a normal interview manner. So you can use open-ended otherwise closed-ended question. Open-ended means we are telling some simple things. Sim we are asking some simple question and the, we are expecting the um, large otherwise brief answer. Example, so you are communicating with the person, you are asking about the how you are feeling right now. Otherwise, what's the complaint you have? Like a simple question, we are expecting the large answer. You will tell the so-and-so, I am feeling like this, like this. So they will tell a brief answer. Closed ended question means it's a simple question like uh, where you have a pain, location of the pain, what's the severity of the pain, like a pain score 1 to 10. So they will tell it 5. Otherwise, it's, is it radiating to anywhere else? Yes. Yes means yes, no means no. Like a yes or no, otherwise simple uh, answered question like a thing, one worded question like a thing. So that's called closed ended question. So these are the various uh, tools we have in communication. Reflection means uh, repetition of the words otherwise sentence which the person said uh, he said like a uh, type 2 diabetic mellitus means we have to repeat that type 2 diabetic mellitus noted means this is the way we can prevent that communication um, error also we can uh, uh, omit that um, easily we can communicate with the person without avoiding the major important things so conf confrontation means so something it's a terminology if you are encountering with a person with a road traffic accident. So while the time of extrication, we found some beer can, otherwise the wine bottle in the vehicle. So you are also smelling like a, um, alcohol, ethyl alcohol smile, uh, smell in his breath. But the person is denying, otherwise he is not agreeing, I am not alcoholic, I am not drunken and dry. Uh, like that he is uh, confessing, otherwise he is telling means. On the time, you have to tell like uh, it's uh, uh, t uh, telling the truth is most important because then only we can approach, we can in a correct manner like that we have to tell. This is the term confrontation. Confrontation means the uh, something is telling but that is not relying to his history, re relating thing, re regarding thing. So it is not relating to his history, he, is, he, is he or she is telling something like a lie related thing. So, this is the term confrontation. The thing we have to keep in mind is it should not be judgmental always. He, there we are to help the person. So we have to tell a more polite manner. 
so our communication always should be empathy and then facilitation means some person uh, they will omit the question and then they will uh, hesitate to answer some question that's the time we have to give a acknowledgement to them so we won't share anywhere else so you can freely communicate with this then you have to give some confidentiality so silence also we have to uh, maintain while the time of communication if the person is talking if the person if the patient is talking to us means silently we have to uh, hear we should not over track the person and then clarification redirection some person they will redirect um, deliberately they will omit uh, some questions so on that time again you have to give the acknowledgement we won't share any we won't share anywhere else any otherwise to anyone so you can uh, share your thoughts otherwise you can share your complaints in a free manner so like that you have to give the confidentiality so those are the various tools and then what strategies we can use open ended question closed ended question you can use these are the various keys finally cultural awareness also most important part because so language uh, and then communication body language those are the most important so where we are which culture we are in so that's also most important thing so these are the some examples um, of cultural awareness so uh, sign of avoiding eye contact is a sign of respect in the american cultural groups and in some asian africans latin america caribbean culture so they will set like a avoiding eye contact is a sign of respect but vice versa in the arabian culture uh, they will tell like um, prolonged communication eye contact communication is a sign of respect so here avoiding the eye contact is a sign of respect in these culture but in arabian culture prolonged eye contact is a sign of respect so in islamic and hindu culture touching with the left hand is a uncleanness and then in asian culture <coughs> the head is the most scared part of the body uh, even they they won't they don't touch the head part they will tell they have a belief like um, head is a residence for the soul so these are the various part and then in mexico and argentina part hands on the lips like this it's a sign of hostility and then in indian arabic culture nodding the head Uh, side to side if you are uh, nodding the head side to side means it's a signal of agreement vice versa in western culture if the nodding the head like this means they will uh, consider as a disagreement no no and then in muslim and then thailand region culture they are showing the feet is a more offensive manner so they will perceive it as a offensive like a thing so these are the various cultural awareness also we should have so while we are in the scene otherwise while we are in the situation we which culture we are in so based on that we have to prepare our things also so these are the some special situation like uncommunicative persons language interpretation hostile or violent person older patients young children young children patient with special challenges in this situation these are the hard to communicate so those are the time we can um, use with the, we can assist with the some other trained person like a special challenges person and all they will have a some care uh, caregivers care uh, care taking person so they have a some special training like a lips reading and then they will uh, trained within uh, non verbal communication sign communication those are the things so we can assist along with them and then with young children and all you we can approach with the parents um, persons who is taking care otherwise uh, parents it, uh, itself we can approach uh, in some other hostile or violent patient with the help of law enforcement personnel we can approach with them so finally some add on things keep your communication simple brief and direct communication near misses or close calls could have lead to an adverse person con uh, consequences means what is mean by near miss it's a one of the term so if the breakdown in communication means that will called near misses means how we can tell uh, you are sharing with the sample history so while the time of over you are sharing with the sample history mean the time uh, uh, by the time you may forget about the 
some other uh, thing, some other element in the sample history. Like uh, you, uh, sometimes you forget about the allergic history to tell. Otherwise, if the person who is receiving the message uh, forget to ask about the allergic history, otherwise he may concentrate. Um, he didn't concentrate about the allergic history. So here no point in the yeah, allergic history so the person ordered the medication of see, if the person is allergy with an uh, metformin or some other medication so again he didn't got a message of allergic history so he ordered so he, he given the metformin what will happen that lead to the consequences so that's the term if any breakdown in communication continuous communication means that leads to the adverse event in the persons that called near misses. So use a proper terminology, grammar and spelling also most important. Avoid most big words like uh, we are not going to impress someone. We should always um, have a proper communication manner. Finally, never provide false assurance, diagnosis, medical advice. This is our uh, out of scope of practice. We should not advise, we should not diagnose something. Uh, don't ask leading question and then avoid interrupting the person or to, uh, talking too much. So, so if the person is talking, if the uh, patient is talking to us means we have to uh, allow them to talk and then let them talk. We have to uh, hear, we have to simply quiet and shit and then we have to act based on that. So these are the some add-on points on the communication part. So do your best, Shalom.